Hey there, Evil's Fox here. I realize this is not the most exciting uh, topic in the world, but YouTube has updated their player. And I want to document this because there's usually very little documentation about this that people can find. And I actually want to do more to document some of the things that you can observe on YouTube or functionality that isn't covered very well, such as codec support, resolution support, things like that, that there isn't a whole lot of real documentation of. But today we're focusing on the YouTube player. It has actually changed. It updated sometime this week, and it's actually pretty cool. Now, you may notice a refresh whenever you first click on videos and the controls down here might change. Uh, that's because it's still like defaulting to the older player and then loading the new one. And half the time when I click on videos, usually I end up with the older white layout anyway and have to refresh to get this one. This time it loaded appropriately and you still have the normal controls. So you have the mini player pop out view. If you didn't know about that, you can do that while you view other YouTube videos. Like this, this might be handy for like finishing a video right as you're picking out the next one. But otherwise, only having this be able to pop out on top of YouTube itself, not like on top of your other tabs, is most mo mostly useless here. And you can't even view the Creator Studio and reply to comments while that's up because it's a completely different UI too. But that was that was an older update. The new update is actually if you go full screen with a video, there's now this scroll for details thing, kind of like on the TVs or mobile devices. And so you have your normal view, your default view, which does now adapt to aspect ratios as I showed in a previous video. But if you go to full screen, you still have a full screen view of comments and things like that. I can type out a comment and then just have to scroll back up to keep watching the video in full screen, not have to re full screen it or whatever. Like you can keep the full screen experience natively integrated and still have access to everything else and then just flick back up to keep watching in full screen. A little subtle change, uh, but I like it a lot and it makes the overall usability of the player modes and the full screen mode just, just ever so slightly more polished. It's kind of like a quality of life kind of thing. Like the, just a little bit of extra detail, but I think it works out really well. Just wanted to document this and show it to you. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button, whatever, and I'll see you later. <laughs> Let me know if you do want to see that video about uh, what codecs and resolutions and aspect ratios and things like that are supported. Because I've been building up that knowledge over the years as I kind of test stuff every six months or so. So I have a lot of data to share if I figure out a way to present it.